All right, and we are back. Time to fight this big, giant jerk face. <laughs> All right, I should probably take this seriously. So I've got to kiss Allison because that's the most serious thing I can do right now. Okay, so we have to fight his hands. Lightning kick should help. Um, I'm going to build up my attack power here. Okay, lightning is the answer. Glitchy says, soup is a liquid food that requires some meat and or vegetables in it. Grains are not vegetables, hence cereals are not soup. Hmm. Hmm. That is a good argument, if we agree with that definition of soup. Can anyone think of a counter argument that soup has to have meat or vegetables in it? I can't think of any, but... Maybe someone else can. I'm not. A, I don't know much soup other than tomato soup, mushroom soup, seafood bisque. Those are my main ones. Are beans a vegetable? Chicken soup. Chicken soup. Yes. Hmm. Okay. Let's do lightning blade. We'll attack the center. Or actually, no, we'll attack the hands. And then let's go ahead and do a sat slash. Sa sight slash. And we will diminish their magical strength. Ah, but to make another point, cereal specifically refers to grains. That is true. Serial, do be referring to the grains. What? But, huh? Excuse me. Why did this robot grab me? <laughs> Melody. Bro. <laughs> Bro. That is rude. Let go of me. <laughs> You're gonna piss Allison off. You're gonna kick your ass. I think beans are legumes, I think. Oops, double think. <laughs> we gotta think really hard about the beans. <laughs> Let me go right now or else I will kill you. I know, her, she's so wide-eyed. <laughs> you okay, Mel? Thanks for the save. Now it's time for some payback. <laughs> I kind of want to see another grab. <laughs> well, darn it, my Wi-Fi is taking a dive. Oh, no. <laughs> Gorky, you need to do what I did and put your router right next to your computer. <laughs> no problem, Gorky, though. Take care, take care. Thanks for coming by. Always good to see ya. Here we go with the lightning blade. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. We almost got him. Okay, his magic's back to normal. You miserable wretches. <laughs> Writing ethernet on the walls everywhere. That's also that's also an option. Definitely gotta make use of those ethernet ports. <laughs> I was considering taking pity on you and reanimating your corpses after this. Now you'll be lucky if there's anything left. Oh, he's he's pissed off. I don't like I care. <laughs> be angry. Was he still burnt? I don't remember. Let's do... Yeah, let's do that.
Just in case, I'm gonna blink on her. Um, because she doesn't need to be here to be attacked. <laughs> Adios. <laughs> Yeah, get him! Get him, Allison! Get him! Oh my god, look at that damage. Look at that Allison damage. She is so strong. <laughs> she is so strong. This is why I love her. Ugh. Critical damage detected. Aborting ongoing tasks to cons conserve power. Goodbye, fidget spinner face. <laughs> you did it! We were almost goners. You do not understand who you are dealing with. The severity of your actions. You four have made a powerful enemy today. Not sure powerful is the word I'd use to describe you. I'm not referring to myself. Shutting down. That's ominous. Should we be worried about that? Forget him. He just wanted to have the last laugh. We saved everyone and we got Neff and Ipsy. Some answers, at least. So mission accomplished, right? How are you two feeling? Well, I'm glad I didn't just die a second time there. That's the spirit. Today has given me a lot to think about. Ditto. But thank you for everything you've done for us. Seriously. Let's head home. I have to ask, hmm? When does it stop feeling like you're faking it? I've been an adventurer for a bit now, and we've accomplished a lot in that time. But even after stuff like all that, it still feels like I'm waiting for it to become real. Do you ever feel that way? Everyone's making it up as they go, Allison. That's adulthood. You say that, but come on, look at you. You're the real deal, you're a hero, the savior of Mumford. You're the one who saved me today, kiddo. Maybe I got lucky. You're the pro here, not me. Is this really what you think of me? Of course it is. How could it not be? I'm not really their savior, Allison. I was just a treasure hunter trying to find some relics in the ruins, and I stumbled upon these folks stuck in some pods. Glyph and I woke them up. They thanked me, and now I check on them every now and then. That's about it. Question. Was a robot a necromancer? I wonder if they if they learned their skills when trying to achieve life for itself. The robot was a necromancer, but I think I think the only reason that I don't think necromancy is rare, just hmm. It just seemed like they're like, ah, you know how we can get good minions? If we just bring them back to life and we don't have to pay them because we can just say that they're not real people. <laughs> Easy. <laughs> Just like a real necromancer, right? <laughs> when is there not a necromancer who's just like, ah, oh, well, you know, I brought them back to life, so I can just use them however I want to. <laughs> someone make, someone show me the benevolent necromancer character, please. I would like to see one. <laughs> I'm not a living legend. I'm not a celebrity. I just saw some people who needed help, and I did my best to help them. You know what? The next time I make a D and D character, I'm gonna make a necromancer who specifically brings people back to life because they died due to do not be able to afford their hospital bills. <laughs> and they're like, you know what? That sucks. Here, you you. There you go. <laughs> That's all a hero really is. <laughs> and I think you're doing a pretty great job with that so far. I couldn't be prouder. Thanks, mom. And you know, from what I've seen, you and your girlfriend make it a good team. She's a keeper, Allison. Okay. Okay, so we're learning. Guys, we're learning from my past mistakes. The last time I had a choice like this, I didn't say anything because I didn't want to ruin the mood. But but that was bad. That, that ended up in, in like a temporary separation thing. So I'm just going to be honest now. I, I told myself we're going to be honest from now on. <laughs> I guess a good necromancer could bring back to life people who that were of great importance but didn't complete their purpose. That would also be pretty interesting. Compound that with a morally great character who kills people who can't afford their hospital bills so they can be resurrected. Okay, Inamar, Inamar, we we are onto something here. This is this is like the perfect pair of interesting characters 
this is this is like I would I would read that I would read this story I want to see like how that's being dealt with I'm sure there's like definitely like some people connected to debt collection for hospital bills who would be who would be the the villain like the enemies that they're trying to deal with (laughs) I was about to say that but how is that gray I mean I guess the gray area is that oh they don't know each other oh my god that would be so funny that would be so funny. He's just the necromancer is just like there's a lot of people just kind of dying like sooner than I expect them to. Huh, I don't know. I well whatever. <laughs> I'll just do my job. Wait, but wait, but the so the person who kills them so they can be resurrected just assumes that someone will eventually resurrect them? Or is it just the necromancer who has no idea what's going on? Okay, so it's just a necromancer. That makes sense. That makes sense. <laughs> what if what if the person who is killing people is like one of the people that the necromancer originally brought back to life? So like like the necromancer knows of him, but you know, then this person is like, "Wow, this necromancer really helped me out. I I support this cause. I'm going to help him out, but I'm not going to tell him. I'm going to go and kill the people who they they can bring back." Okay, guys, we're writing a story here. <laughs> we're we're coming up with a good story here. <laughs> Maybe I should fill you in on what's been going on with us lately. This is a lot to take in. Tell me about it. Well, you're definitely having a more eventful first week on the job than I did. Are you sure you don't want my help? I believe in Melody's plan. It won't be easy, but based on what we learned from Zinnia, I think we can resolve things with Verena. But in case Javis is more tricks up his poncho, I think it'd be best for you to hold down the fort in Munford. Face doing the same in Green Ridge. I understand. I know you can do this. I know I haven't been the most present in your life lately, and I know you like your independence. But I'm only a phone call away. Say the word and I'll be there, Allison. Any time, any reason. You've got it. There was one thing I wanted to give you, though. Oh my god. I think I know what it is. <gasps> yes! Let's... Wait, no way! Yes way? I noticed that sword you got there is missing its gem. I happen to have one in my personal stash. Go on, see if it fits. Forgetting everyone, their signature weapons... Let's go. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Oh yeah. I'm ready now. <laughs> Woo! This is why you do the side quest, guys. This is why you do all the side quests. Now we got the strongest, the strongest Allison. Look at her, dual wielding a hammer and a saber. She is so strong now. <laughs> Look at that attack power compared to like, to like, to like uh, Jody. I know Claire does not have any attack. Jody has 106. She's at 180. Allison is ready to kick butt. <laughs> Super sword, let's go. All right. So we almost have everything done. The main stuff we need to do is we need to find the last two critters. So we'll need to go back to her there to see. And to bubblegum. And then we got to defeat all of freaking Javis's sons. Who I'm pretty sure I know where most of them are. I know that there's one around here. Um, but yeah, we need to go find the critters. Where's the door? 
Where is the 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 gate door in this place? I forgot. I think it's outside of the city, but I might be wrong. It's been a hot minute since I played the game, so I cannot remember all everything. Let's see. Does it say here where it is? No. God, I don't remember where it was. I think maybe... I know where the portal is. I guess we could just go to the portal and just see where that takes us. I mean, I know where it takes us. There's just supposed to be like a quicker way to get back, but I cannot remember. No, this is not right. No, that was Javis's place. I'm not gonna fight any of the small fry. Okay, this is the warp pad back. There should be a door around here. Should be being the operative word. <laughs> there should be. Oh, there. Okay. There's the door. All right. So let's go back to. Where is it? Was it this one? Yes. The Uncanny Valley. And let's go see what critters we need to find. One critter lies in a dark and ominous place in the wasteland. Okay. We were just there. So I just need one more. Was it in the place we were just in? And I just didn't see it? I have no clue. Hold on. I'm going to cheat a little bit because I did not see it. I just want to be sure I'm going to the right location. Okay. It is inside the crypt. Okay. That's what I thought. Because I, I do know we didn't go through every room. There was a couple that we didn't do. Because I didn't realize that we were going directly to the boss room. <laughs> And I was like, well, I'm here. Okay, there's the door. Just kind of there. Where is the crypt now? Um. The crypt was. Was it all the way to the east? Oh, I don't remember where the crypt was exactly. It was either to the east or to the north. Or was it? No, hold on. Poop, I don't remember where was it exactly. I don't think it was this place. Oh no, it was. It was this place. Okay, I'm I'm not I'm not that stupid. I kind of know stuff. So there should be a a way to go. That I just had not gone to.
What was directly down? I forgot. That was back. Okay. So we went this way, but there's other conveyor, conveyor belts around. So like there's this one that goes here. Oh, but I guess we already got what was here. This one. No, this just takes us back. So there has to be another one. Maybe it's the one that I that from down that I thought went all the way back. Maybe it doesn't actually go all the way back. Let me try it. That's the only other way I didn't go. Okay, yeah, this seems uh different. Hello? Hello? Okay, there it is. It was literally just by itself. I should have just went that way. I should have just gone. <laughs> Silly me. Oh, whoops, that was the wrong way. That just takes me back. That was a fun ride, though. <laughs> Alright, we can leave now. Whee! At least the conveyor belts make it a little faster to go backwards. Alright, now we just need to go back to the door, which is next to a dude. So that makes it a little bit easier for me to remember where it is. I just need to find a dude, wherever he may be. I think I already don't know where the dude is. <laughs> where was that dude? Was he down? Okay, we're just gonna go back the normal thing. <laughs> That's the way I know. This is the way I'm familiar with. And sometimes you just gotta go with your tradition instead of trying to do something new. You just go with what you got going on. I swear, something interesting is going to happen with that person in this, this sitting there. Something interesting is going to happen, and it's going to be like a big, oh my god, moment when it happens. Alright, here we go. Last item for Jody. So... It might be not be practical as a full helmet, but it teaches emergency self-care. Huh? What does that mean? Let's see. Oh, it, it lets her heal herself. Let's me think. Let me think. It lowers her defense, though. So actually, I think it's fine. We got enough healing power. I think we're all right. I'm going to regret this later, maybe, and then I'll be like, okay, I'll change it back. Why does this dog look familiar? I don't know. What? Why does this dog look familiar? <laughs> Emergency heal self-care? Is that like getting a Starbucks and spending the day in bed? Hey, can I would like some of that for myself. Thank you very much. <laughs> 
All right, so we did all those critters. We got all the stuff. Now, like we got all the stuff we really needed. We got the tiny witch hat. We got this cool reaper thingy. We got Allison's stuff. We got Jody's stuff. So now, the only thing we really need to do is fight all of Javis' sons. Which, I know where one of them is here. There's one nearby, so we can go do that one first. Get rid of all of Javis' boys. Because they're, they're making stuff a mess. They're, they're making a mess of our house. So I think if I go somewhere north from here, I will find a door to take me to one of them, I think. Yeah, so there's the sign that they're nearby. It's all this crap around. So I think if I go north, there's the door. Time to go in. <laughs> and there's the classic Javis muse. Oh my god. I've gone through all the save files. <laughs> all 30 of them. Well, that means it's time to cycle through. <laughs> now we're cycling right through. Can we time out my amulet? What, am I talking too much for you? Hello, Nova. We can time out Nova. Do you guys think I should time out Nova? So you finally decided to quit cowering in fear and face me. I don't believe we've had a formal introduction. They call me Killer Ray. So does that mean you've killed people? No. Then who calls you that? Who is they? My brothers. Because I asked them to. So... I tire of your questions, Harrys! Oh god, I forgot they call us that. I forgot they call us Harrys. Because they're jerks. <laughs> I did not come here for an interview. I am here to do battle with my father's most hated foes and win his favor in the process. I am positive that after this battle you'll be feeling quite negative if you're able to feel anything at all. <laughs> Need to talk more? Okay, bro. I assume you have the concept of magnets in this dimension, correct? How a beam attack will have a greater effect on a target with opposite polarity? Well, if you aren't familiar, consider this a lesson. I didn't realize that's what his body looked like. <laughs> is Harry supposed to be an insult? It is an insult to me. <laughs> Shifting polarities. What the frick? What is this? What is he doing? <laughs> what does this mean? What is happening? Uh, okay. Why are you targeting Claire? What? What? What is happening? What? Why? Are, huh? I'm confuzzled. <laughs> Something's going to happen. I just know it. Hey, she's gonna go uh, get away from here for a second. Don't mind her. Not Harry. Harry Metal Furret. <laughs> Can you imagine that name? It has a very different connotation than Furry Metal Furret. <laughs> She'll be fine. I don't understand what this shifting polarities is supposed to be doing. I feel like he doesn't even know either. <laughs> it's not doing anything is what it's doing. <laughs> I may use it for platforms that don't let me use furry, <laughs> like Xbox. Xbox doesn't let you use furry? 
<laughs> that is so weird. Okay. All right, look at this amazing attack we're going to do here. Allison is going to kill him. Twenty three hundred attack. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. She is so strong. Several MMOs. Not when I made my username. It could have changed. <laughs> I feel like I killed a guy in Halo named Furry. <gasps> Allison, no! <laughs> I should try to type Furry on RuneScape. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I feel like maybe <laughs> you'll see something interesting there. Okay, um, you killed my girlfriend and I don't like that. So you gotta die now. Don't worry. Claire's a necromancer. Damn sucks that permadeath is on this battle. <laughs> no, not permadeath. There can't be permadeath in this world when we have necromancers running around everywhere. <laughs> Adios, muchacho. <laughs> Let's go back to Lightning Blade here. Just keep attacking. We're gonna go back to doing some attacks here and barrier back on Claire. Wait, if you revive someone with the Necromancy, do they have free will? Yeah, they have free will. <laughs> All the zombies had free will. <laughs> They're just, you know, doing their own thing, being cowboys. <laughs> I'd call that free will. All right, we're going to do the combo with Allison again. Defense down, attack up. And super attack, let's go. 20, oh, not 23 this time, but you know, a lot of damage still. In the context of this game, I decay, but in most lore, it depends on what level of undead. Some are not sentient, while others have their own minds. I will say that we, there were some zombies we did have to fight because they were attacking us. So I think there were some zombies that did not have free will. So it might uh, it might depend on something. It might be more complicated than I think, but you know, there were there were zombies with free will, so Allison has no defense, so I have to keep reviving her. <laughs> that's the price of having so much attack power. <laughs> but that's what I'm here for, to keep Allison alive so she can keep fighting things. What if you're reviving her gives you the bad ending? <laughs> I guess we'll find out, because I've revived her quite a few times already. <laughs> oh, look at that level up. Let's go. <laughs> like Undertale. <laughs> this... this cannot be! The strongest and most handsome of Lord Javis's progeny defeated by a bunch of circus animals! You may have defeated me, but Father and the Queen will be another story. Enjoy breathing while you can. Oh, an item. Ooh, a warrior's headband. 
We're getting more cool items, bros. I mean, I know who I gotta give it to. Look at- look at that! Look at that! Oh my goodness, that is beautiful. Beautiful for Allison. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Everyone is getting the best stuff. Hi, Razel. Welcome, welcome. I see you peeking in there. <laughs> Did I pronounce that right? Razel or is it Razel? Oh, do you come over from Nova's channel? That that thing is too scared to deal with us. It is frightened. Okay. So, there's someone in Sapphire Coast, someone in Celestial Wasteland, and someone in Amber Woods. Alright. Let's just go where the winds will take us. Let's see what's closest. Let's see what I go to first. What is this? Okay, that's Zinnia's place. Green Ridge, okay. Sapphire Coast it is. I'm pretty sure I also know where this person is. Um, but we should heal up first. So let's go to Allison's house and just crash on the couch for a second. Melody, think of the children. I just wanted to crash. <laughs> Allison, why are you assuming things? <laughs> okay, that didn't heal me. How do I heal here again? Is there a place I can heal up? I guess I could go... Um... Oh, let me try inside of here. Wasn't there a celestial couch I could crash at? I forgot. Why must you ask such cursed questions? But it's not since if you think if it's soup, you're wrong. <laughs> Hey, I didn't ask the question. This was all Rocket Mew. Rocket Mew wanted to cause some chaos today. <laughs> Alright, now we gotta look for the other person. And I guess we just won't heal. You know what? Healing is she for lamos. She makes me ask these questions. Don't believe her lies. What? I didn't ask this question. Or ask you to ask this question, I guess. <laughs> I never know what the question is. Until you ask it. And then I'm like, okay, that's the question we're dealing today. <laughs> Even more curse. Pouring milk before the soup. <laughs> Glitchy, why would you do this? <laughs> Glitchy. <laughs> You're causing more drama. <laughs> I am curious, though, what order you guys make your cereal in. How do you guys make your cereal? Milk straight into the ba bag gang. <laughs> Itamar, please. No, no, that is not right. <laughs> that is not right. I know there is no way you actually do that, because that is cursed. <laughs> That is cursed. No, I'm pretty sure they mean bag. <laughs> because they are like that. Milk straight into the bag actually works for the tiny size boxes. Okay, I have to admit, I do love the tiny cereal. I know exactly, I love those tiny cereal boxes. They're so cute. I used to collect them, but then, like, it kind of became annoying to collect them, so I stopped. Okay, so he's not here. Where is freaking Javis, this stupid son? He's hiding somewhere. I know he's hiding from me because he's scared. He's a scared little baby. Yeah, th those were the go-to breakfast thing. I mean, no, regardless of the bowl that you eat it in. 
Now, real question. What kind of milk do you use? Hmm. Well, it kind of changed throughout my life, depending on how old I was. My best friend growing up was allergic to milk, but he still ate cereal. He put grape juice on it. It sounds gross, but think what? Itamar, what the heck? <laughs> also can confirm RuneScape doesn't censor furry. Oh, that's good. I was worried about that. <laughs> that is disgusting. Where is Job as the stupid son? <laughs> Not here. I just came from here. So maybe over here? I'm not seeing any of the temporal disjunction though. I think I remember seeing some like up this way, maybe. Passinia's house was there? Any? Maybe? No. No, there wasn't. Where is the frickin'. Where is his son? I also don't know how I ended up coming here. I meant to go to freaking Sapphire Coast. To the left? All right. I mean, that's like... It's gotta be somewhere, right? They gotta be somewhere. I'm just looking for the signs of corruption, but I'm not seeing any. Then again, Amber Woods is pretty huge. Hold on, let me look and see if the map can help me. I guess it would be where that big question mark is. So actually, if I go... Let's just go all the way to the left. I think Nova's onto something here. Like if you put jam on toast, besides texture, what's the difference? It works with apple juice? Listen. I just, I don't think I could do it. I don't think I could do it. That just seems weird to me. It's too weird. I cannot handle it. Also, I just, I'm just imagining how sour it makes it. Like, milk doesn't make your cereal sour. It brings out that sweetness. You know, it, it lets the sweetness sit in the milk. I don't want to start my morning with sour cereal. Apple juice plus cereals versus pilk. You have to pick one. Why are you making me pick with pilk? You know I don't like the pilk. <laughs> it's gross. Okay, I guess if I had to choose, I would go with the cereal. If you're, <laughs> oh, here's the corruption. It's gotta be this way. There it is. You must have been born weak if you don't eat your apple juice with cereal. You know what? I will take that. I will take being weak in that case because it sounds gross. <laughs> sounds very gross. <laughs> sour grape juice what? Grape juice isn't sour. I don't drink a lot of grape juice. I drink apple juice. I don't really like grape juice that much. I don't think we run into you as much as your brother's. Apple pie is just thick apple juice with cereal. <laughs> Fine then, what do you eat that you consider weird? Nothing. Everything that I eat is perfect. <laughs> Not very talkative, are we? Correct. Banter, no, you're destroying the park. Going to leap peacefully, or do we have to do things the hard way? Prepare yourselves. Okay, straight to the point. Huh? 
Have you eaten threpas? I have not. I don't even know what that is. I guess like the only thing I could think of that I eat that people consider weird is like sometimes I like to dip my pizza in ranch. Especially if it's like one of those like pizzas that doesn't really have a lot of margarita sauce. And then like I like to dip that in ranch. My dad would dip a toast with a uh, craft slice and a chocolate milk. <laughs> what? Oh my god, that's gross. That's not weird. That's the food of my people. I'm from the Midwest. <laughs> I like honey on my pizza. Okay, interesting. I mean, dessert pizza is a thing, but I'm assuming you're putting honey on, like, normal pizza. <laughs> and I'm, I I don't know how I feel about that, furry. <laughs> I don't feel good about it. It's where I'm going to stand on that. I don't feel great. Seems like ice is working pretty well here. Wham, why are you like this? What do you mean, why am I like this? It goes well on cheese pizza. Try it. I'm not... I don't know if I can. <laughs> See, the thing is, if I don't like it, then I waste the pizza, and then I'm gonna be sad. Plus, I can't really buy pizza a lot, because, like, pizza big. And I'm one person. And I don't really like cold pizza. There's... I do try new food if it seems like it'll be a good idea. <laughs> you don't need to put it on all the pizza. <laughs> Just a bite. <laughs> pocket pizza, let's go. I would love if, if I could have some pocket pizza. <laughs> Real talk hours. I don't like cold pizza. I don't think I can eat. Cold pizza is bad. <laughs> cold pizza bad. Okay, strange foods that are good. Let's see. <laughs> Let's see, what else can we add here? Okay, you know what? I will I will try it if the next time I have both pizza and honey at my disposal, I will try a bite, furry. <laughs> I like cold pizza, but it's hard on the stomach, I think. I think that's an indication that it's it should it's bad. <laughs> my opinion. I think you should just listen to to your inherent feelings about it. When I was a wee lad, I made sandwiches with bologna, barbecue sauce, and enough garlic powder to make it burn. Children have interesting senses of taste. Sometimes I feel like children just mix their favorite foods together and they're like, yes, good. I did it. <laughs> what did I eat as a child? That was really weird. I don't eat anymore. can't think of anything specific. I did sometimes, mostly because I knew it bothered people, because I, I'm a freak right like that. I did sometimes, when like my, my mom would pack me school lunches, she would pack me mustard and mayonnaise in little packets so it didn't make my sandwich soggy to make it pre-made like that. So at the school, sometimes like because it weirded out my friends and also because I didn't really hate the taste, I would just eat the mayonnaise straight up from the packet, and it really bothered a lot of people. Ban. <laughs> when, what am I on? Phone or PC? 
It's hard to tell with you because you barely ever like type well. But I'm going to say that you're on your PC because you sent those messages very fast right after each other. <laughs> I'm wrong? Okay. It's hard to- yeah, like I said, it's hard to tell with you specifically. You type about the same way. <laughs> but now- <laughs> Mayonnaise plus ketchup works surprisingly- I hate ketchup. I hate ketchup. Ketchup gross. <laughs> Grape jam on a ham and cheese sandwich hits. I, th I think I remember you telling me this before, Itamar. Either that or someone else has told me this combo, and I'm I'm like, if that is the case, I feel like maybe I should try it, because that's like two different confirmations I've heard about grape, about jelly and ham and cheese. And it's, it's kind of at least making me a little curious. It's making me curious. Oh, wait, that was the wrong button. Shit. Damn it. I didn't mean to click that. <laughs> Roy is like, excuse me? Damn it. I was doing so well. Hold on. How do I... Let me just reload it. <laughs> I got so distracted by our conversation. <laughs> I was so distracted by the thought of, of jam and cheese and ham together. <laughs> Time to send Wham a bag of our fine Canadian ketchup chips. Oh, gross. I I literally cannot. <laughs> if I if I smell ketchup, I'm I like almost like ugh. I like I like vomit in the back of my throat. Ugh. I gag. <laughs> it's better if you put mayo on one side and grape on the other. Wait, you also have mayonnaise on the sandwich? Okay, now this is getting weirder. I don't know if I can do the mayonnaise with it. It feels like too much. Thanks, Nova. Thank you very much. Oh god, no, don't- let's not talk about the orange chicken. <laughs> You guys are awful. <laughs> if you don't understand why I don't like to talk about orange chicken, I forgive you. But otherwise, if you know, I don't forgive you. <laughs> Think of prime rib with horseradish and applesauce from a steakhouse. That's the same premise. I actually don't really eat steak with sauce too much I don't really eat steak that much usually when my family and I uh, like my family have like steak like beef it's um it's like carne asada or like milanesa or something it's never like just just like like barbecued steak or anything like that. We're not really like barbecue steak sort of or steakhouse kind of family. It's usually like a part of like other stuff. So adding sauce to it is not really something we do. I'm also just not a big fan of barbecue sauce or most sauces that are used. I'm not really a big fan of most sauces. I'm picky like that. Bro, this guy ruined my combo.
Jake needs a good compound butter. That's it. Yeah, that's pretty much like we either do it like with uh, with something while it's being made or like lemon. My dad is a big fan of like throwing a lot of lemon with his steak. Which I love because I love that lemon, lemon flavoring. Steak is expensive. Chicken is cheap. Yes. <laughs> Chicken is mostly what I eat because, yeah, it's cheaper. Also, my sugarcane farm is slow, but it's produced about 2.5 stacks since my stream started. Nice. Yeah, I've noticed the sugarcane growth is not very fast, so you need to grow it in, like, a lot of quantities. Well, we need, we need the sugarcane for the paper. I don't think you can use bamboo for paper. You can't, but free fuel. Yeah, we're we're working on our villager trading. Build a mob grinder. That's how you get some stuff. Unfortunately, we uh, there are no mobs on the server we're on because of the uh, they are trying to reduce lag, and that was one of the ways that they did it was removing a lot of mods. Also, because the Pokemon can substitute as mobs in terms of drops. Yeah, Animar has very strong feelings about how the, the redstone does not work on the server. But hey, you know, the server's gotten a lot of money from all those crates that they, uh, they gave out, so... Here's hoping that they, uh, put some stuff back. Okay. We're doing pretty good, we're doing pretty good. Ah, okay. Why stop making Jody attack people? <laughs> no. This guy's annoying. He's just making me attack the same people. Yeah, apolo apologize. <laughs> okay, that's not great. That's really bad. Okay, Jody actually died. That is really wild to me. <laughs> That is crazy to me that she actually got killed. <laughs> there you go. Ow. Okay, that attack hurts. Ugh, oh, but we killed him. Nice work, team. Well, hey, look at this. Farewell. Very succinct. Very straightforward. Emerald Wands. Nice. Alright, I think that'll go right to Claire. Yep. Perfect. Wither is a mid-boss. You can actually fight it easier by putting it in a 4x4 room underground with only a too tall hallway leading away. You hide it down the hallway because the stone blocks are projectiles only come from the side heads. Ah, interesting. Interesting method. Well, 
Well, that is two of Jabba's sons down. So we're going to save here. So I'm going to do something. We're going to take a quick break for the recording. Um, and I'm going to check about how much vaguely <laughs> is left. We only have two bosses. We got two bosses, was it? Oh, let me do I'll actually just check right now how many bosses we get. We did two of them. There's two more. And then there's the final battle. But we still need to actually go through. Okay. So there's still a bit of the game left. So <laughs> I said that we're going to be doing a bit of Fakazoo. So this is going to be where we finish with Super Lesbian RPG for today. I think I'm not going to say it. I'm not going to say a confirmation, but I think if we do another full stream of Super Lesbian Animal RPG, that'll get us through the last three quest things. I think. We'll see, but we're going to go ahead and switch over <laughs> to Genshin because um, um, I really want to play uh, the story quest. <laughs> so yeah, we're going to go ahead and switch over. Um, there's going to be intermission. <laughs> so hang on tight, folks. Uh, we will be back with a new game shortly. <laughs> 